story of Rocket Rack came uh, from working in uh, the electrical trade as a foreman running work in food and beverage processing plants. We had a need to fabricate a lot of the support rack systems that we use for our conduit to, to run all of our control cables through. And the time to do all this fabrication out in the field, the measuring and, and a lot of hole drilling and, and stainless steel angle took a very long time. I got kind of aggravated and you know, kind of went home and, and, and had a drawing that I put together and went out to a machinist and, and had one fabricated and brought it in to work the next day and showed it to the rest of the guys and they were like, man, this is gonna be, this would be great. And, you know, had a hundred of them made and we were able to install this job in a record amount of time. Some of the greatest challenges when we started Rocket Rack uh, were, again, uh, neither Julie or I knew how to run a business was one of the main things. And then also, uh, fabricating the product and getting the product known across the nation to the, the contractors and the distributors that were out there. Our first contact with Rob Roy was, was really quite unique. Steve Voltsky reached out to Julie just via LinkedIn and started talking and looking at the possibility of licensing private label or acquisition. The opportunity to meet them and, and bring them into uh, our operation in Gilmer and talk with them, it was just, at first, it was just a great opportunity. We connected right away and I could tell there was a lot of pride in their product and it was the same kind of pride that we have in our product and so it was something that we were able to really see. He flew us down to Gilmer to their facility to, to have a meeting and look through their facility and see what they do and understand what they do and uh, it was very warm, you know, casual feeling, uh, very comfortable. After that, uh, they came up to St. Louis to see our facility and a few months later we had an agreement. So it worked out quite well, very honest. We could tell early on in the process that um, Ron saw opportunity in our product, we saw opportunity in his, and so it was really a great combination when we could take those platforms and actually make a stronger overall brand in both positions. We want to be able to take those products, put things with them, but then educate our customers on why they're the better tool or the better way of getting the job done for them. And we've been able to do that with Rocket Rack and that marriage of Rob Roy Stainless and Rocket Rack is a synergy that we're really looking forward to continuing to grow. Rocket Rack was just an absolute natural fit we, we have two companies that sell to the exact same markets. You know, we have similar strategies of solution selling. We, we provide products that, that provide solutions to the end user. Rocket Rack is a, a great company that's going to extend our product line, our product offerings. Uh, but when you look at uh, on the other side of the equation, um, I think what we bring to the table, uh, we're able to provide uh, not only back office support, but financial support an ability to either grow through capital equipment, through building out the sales channel, and I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a good marriage. Selling Rocket Rack was an extremely difficult decision to make, and Julie and I, you know, spent hours and hours and hours talking about it, uh, about what what we wanted to do in life and and what we wanted Rocket Rack to become. The reason we selected Rob Roy um, as a company to look at as being acquired by Rob Roy was the longevity of Rob Roy and also their products. So I've used their products in the past. They always made a very high quality product. Being a family owned company was another thing. It wasn't owned by some big corporate conglomerate that you kind of get lost in everything. We do truly understand the importance of legacy of, of companies and brands. Uh, we're a multi-generational family business ourselves. And uh, we don't just give that lip service. We truly internalize that and know exactly what that means. And that's another differentiator that we have. And I think another common term that's used out there is patient capital. And we do have patient capital. So we're willing to do the investment for the long-term gain. And we're not looking for a quick exit. When Rocket Rack was acquired by Rob Roy, my big thing was I wanted to see Rocket Rack brand grow. It is growing and it's it's growing like I would want it to grow. It, it is it has really been uh, fun to watch and, and fun to see and fun to work with all the folks from Rob Roy. Uh, they've been a pleasure to work with and it, it's just, it's been an exciting time for us. If you have a product that is distinctive and of a niche product, 
we offer a value proposition where we know how to do demand creation. We know how to market that product. We know how to sell that product. We are going to treat your company and your product like it's one of ours. We go into every deal with a, with a win-win mindset. And we really view it as I would say, we call it a partnership. And uh, uh, we want to make sure that uh, the company grows and that everybody prospers.